What is the best operating system for an IT professional such as yourself to use? Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. And today I'm gonna help you guys with this question because I've been asked this in one way or another numerous times by now. And it's really important that we kind of discuss this in as much detail as we can, but to sum it up so you guys can really stop watching the video right after this, it's every single operating system. That is the best operating system for an IT professional is every single one that you can get your hands on. Because as an IT professional, you will run across each one of these operating systems. And we're mainly talking about here is Windows, Mac, and of course, Linux. Now I'm not saying that you need to go out and spend a million dollars buying a Mac. And I'm not saying that you need to learn every single Linux distribution that's out there. Having the fundamental knowledge of all of these operating systems, is going to be very beneficial for you. However, the best one really depends on what your personal, professional career and development looks like to you, because if you're looking to get into something like cybersecurity, for instance, well, many people are gonna tell you Linux is going to be the best operating system for you to use. And other people are gonna say, well, Windows is just fine as well, and Mac is just as great as all of these. Because in reality of things, they all have their advantages, and they all do very specific things really well. And if you guys wanna learn more about that on the Curious IT YouTube channel, wherever I put this up there, I will be putting very specific videos related to why I use each and every one of these operating systems. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. However, for you, if you're looking to just start, picking up any computer is going to be fine because you're going to be able to virtualize just about every single thing that's out there anyway. Now, I personally use a Mac much of the time because I wanna be very familiar with that operating system and I virtualize Linux and I virtualize Windows, but I also have a Linux laptop that I use for very specific things. And I have Windows machines that I use for very specific things as well. Now, not all of you guys out there are going to need this. I have computers everywhere in my house and they all do something very specific, but they all go back to my main computer because I remote into that computer from every other machine that I have. And this main computer is a virtual machine warehouse essentially because it has virtual machines for every operating system um, that I personally need or professionally need. So whether we're talking about Linux distributions or we're talking about Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows Server, 2016, 2012, 2019, that wasn't in order, I apologize, but you get the idea. You guys don't necessarily have to look at what is the best operating system that you should be using. It's really, what is the best operating system that fits your use case? And in reality, when you're looking to just get into this field, it's going to be every single one of these. You guys should really be familiarizing yourself with each of these. Now, going back to where we started with, you know, cybersecurity and Linux, it's a great idea, but you know, you could use Linux for your day to day. It could be your daily driver and you could do just about anything that you normally would. And I would suggest you guys go check out Chris Titus, uh, Chris Titus Tech, his YouTube channel. He just put a video out about why he's using Linux and uh, kind of goes into detail about that. I would strongly suggest checking that out. And again, I'm going to talk about why I use Macs. I'm going to talk about why I use Windows, why I talk, uh, why I use uh, Linux machines. And they all have their own purpose. And really to the point, it doesn't matter which one that you choose. It's all about how you can be productive. Which machine, which operating system is going to give you or help you be the most productive and get the most done and learn the most, you know, it, it really comes down to that. Now you're gonna find that when you're getting into the IT field, you're gonna run into many Windows environments. The meaning that that's their primary choice of operating system. And you're gonna find that majority of the time, again, that when it comes down to end users, they're majority, they're majoritively using the Windows operating system. And you may find even behind the scenes in these Windows environments that they are actually utilizing Linux for some of their servers as well. Uh, many times though in Windows environments, they are primarily just a, a complete Windows house. So they're using Windows on the desktop side, they're using Windows on the, the server side. However, as you guys are getting you know more developed into the field and really getting and expanding further out there, you're gonna find where there are many other environments that are very Linux heavy. Sometimes you're even gonna come across 
very Linux desktop heavy environments as well as server environments that are really utilizing Linux to uh, its really full potential. Now you're also gonna find that you're gonna run across Mac operating systems out in the open world as well. You know, I, I've run across Macs in working in school districts, um, and that's really about it in my professional career. Of course, there are many other uh, different environments out there that are gonna be very Mac heavy, and you'll find that you're gonna have to service Macs on that desktop user end side um, very often in those types of environments. Now, in the back end, they're probably majoritively still running either Windows or Linux servers to help handle you know, file servers, applications, uh, different programs, and things like that. Now, getting back to the point of this video, the best operating system that you as an IT professional should be learning is the one that you feel most comfortable with, the one that you feel like you are going to accomplish the most with. And I'm telling you right now, I've said this millions of times, learn all of the operating systems. And you might find that once you start learning Linux or you start learning Mac that you gravitate more towards that. And you really wanna learn more and more and more and you start to make one of those your daily driver and that's okay. Uh, I strongly recommend that, I strongly encourage that. It's not necessarily a bad thing to have knowledge in all of these. It's, it's a great idea. And in the videos that I talk about on Curious IT, we, we go into detail um, on why I'm using each and every one of these in some extent. So I hope this video kind of helps answer some questions, um, clears things up for you a little bit. That's all we got in this video. So as always, take it easy.